How's it going everyone? Brodo Simes here and uh, today we're going to be taking a look on how to set up remote play on a jailbroken PS4 to play PS4 games on your PC using the Chiaki application. So the first thing that you have to do is obviously uh, enable the jailbreak and then install Apollo Save Tool. So we're going to need Apollo Save Tool to activate the PSN account offline. So make sure that you install Apollo Save Tool. Once you have Apollo Save Tool, go ahead and launch it and make sure that you don't use this on your main account because your saves are going to be corrupted. So do not activate your main account and use a spare account instead it's so easy to create a new account on the ps4 once you have apollo save tool uh, launched go to user tools and click on it then click on activate ps4 accounts and now select the uh, account that you want to create uh, make sure that it is not your main account again make sure it is that spare account that you created uh, you can see the uh, name of the account clearly click x and when you when you get this message account successfully activated uh, go ahead and restart your ps4 so the ps4 has to be rebooted okay once the PS4 is back on, uh, you have to activate the jailbreak again and then open Apollo Save Tool again. Uh, we need to get the PSN ID from uh, Apollo Save Tool so we can type it somewhere and save it. Okay. Now go to the same uh, icon, which is User Tools, click on it, and then click on Activate PS4 Accounts. Now notice here that the account that I named testing now has a PSN ID, which is 6F6C6C6, etc. Type that somewhere, okay? Uh, on your phone's memo or somewhere. Just type it somewhere because we're gonna need it. Now we go to this website called base64.guru and paste the uh, PSN ID that we got from Apollo. Then click on convert, okay? And now we just copy the uh, converted code. After that, we open the Chiaki application. Make sure that you install the app. And you can see that the PS4 has been automatically discovered. But if it doesn't, we can manually add it from the top right corner by pressing this little plus sign. Type the PS4's IP address here. And then hit save and the PS4 will appear. But for now, let's just go with this one. Uh, for this option here, we have to check the uh, PS4 firmware 8.0 or higher, check broadcast, and then we paste the uh, code that we converted here. For the pin, you have to go to the PS4 settings to get it. So go to the remote play connection settings, then click on add device, and you will get a pin code. Now type it in here. and click register. Now you will get a message telling you that the console with that ID has been successfully registered. Hit OK and double click on it. Now you have remote play active on your PC on uh, Chiaki. But there is one thing that uh, you have to delete from Chiaki. So uh, open the Chiaki uh, installation directory, go to audio and delete the uh, Qt Audio Windows DLL. This file causes so much stuttering in audio and uh, the audio is gonna be horrible if you don't delete this file. So make sure that you delete this file. Now let's take a look at some of the uh, Chiaki settings. Uh, you can change 30 fps to 60 fps uh, and set the uh, bit rate to 50,000 for the best image quality and then set the audio buffer size to 4000 uh, for less stuttering and a better audio quality there's also uh, the uh, keyboard settings here that you can change them but they're, they're kind of useless because the mouse doesn't work i, I couldn't find a way to make the mouse work with Chucky, but you can 
uh, play games with mouse and keyboard with the official remote play application from Sony but you have to download the newest version of the remote play app because uh, if you download like an old version it's not going to work with firmware 9.00 so make sure that you download the uh, newest version of Remote Play. We can make mouse and keyboard work with the official Remote Play by uh, downloading the uh, PS4 keyboard and mouse adapter and then open it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to uh, set up. Uh, we have to change a few things here. So uh, make sure that the VIGEM here is checked. The process injection for the uh, bottom toolbar. Make sure that it's selected then go down to step number three click on set path now go to the location where you installed the uh, playstation official remote play app and select the exe click open and now hit check path turns green it's successful Go to step number four and make sure that the controller is not connected to your PC. Once you're done, simply click on validate settings and launch remote play. Give it a moment. It takes a few seconds to uh, launch the remote play. All right, now click on this uh, blue rectangle or whatever. Yes, I have clicked on it and now uh, we can see the Remote Play app has started. Yes, I see a familiar screen from my PlayStation. Click on it and now we can, uh, you know, configure the uh, keyboard settings. Uh, you can like convert or change every controller button to a keyboard button. What matters the most is the mouse. So go to advanced mappings and we can find the R1, which is the, uh, uh, the attack button or the shooting. Okay, so we change them both to mouse right and mouse left. Now we can play with the uh, mouse and keyboard on the official uh, PlayStation Remote Play app so it was like a, a quick and a short video and i hope it was uh, helpful to you so some people getting a bit confused on reddit on how to uh, on how to use chiaki for remote play and i hope they find this uh, helpful so yeah that's it take care see you soon